Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! In what increasingly appears to be one of the longest sagas of all time, former Mayor of London Ken Livingstone was suspended from holding office within the Labour Party tonight for a further year after claiming that the Nazi leader supported Zionism in the 1930s. A meeting of the party's National Constitutional Committee found that he had breached the party's rules he'd engaged in conduct that was detrimental to the party. Many expected him to be kicked out entirely. Our political editor, Nick Waters, here with the details. Nick, what exactly has happened? Well, as you were saying, Labour's National Constitutional Committee, after long deliberations, have made this decision that Ken Livingstone uh, broke Labour Party rules on three charges, and he's been suspended, as you say, from standing for public office as a Labour candidate and standing for office within the party. As you were saying, this is a two-year suspension, but because he's already faced administrative suspension for a year, this will now just last until the end of April 2018. Now, as you were saying, Ken Livingstone had expected Expected that he would be expelled altogether from the Labour Party, but he's facing the lesser sanction, a suspension from holding office, and he suggested this evening that his barrister, Michael Mansfield QC, had successfully argued that he had not made anti-Semitic remarks. So what's the background to all this? Well, this all dates back to a BBC radio interview that Ken Livingstone gave to Vanessa Feltz last year, in which he said that the Labour MP, Naz Shah, had been over the top but not anti-Semitic when she shared a Facebook page suggesting that Israel should be moved to the US and she'd written problem solved. Nashar, it's important to say, shared this post before she became uh, an MP in 2015. And in that interview with Vanessa Feltz, Ken Livingston went on to suggest that Adolf Hitler had supported Zionism because of the Havara Agreement of 1933, although I don't think he actually said mm. Havara Agreement in that interview, between the Zionist Federation of Germany and Nazi Germany. And this, of course, allowed thousands of German Jews to migrate to what was then the British Mandate of Palestine. And it appears that Mr Livingstone's central defence today was that he was not saying in that interview that Hitler was a Zionist. He was saying that Hitler supported Zionism. And Mr Livingstone says those are, do not amount to anti-Semitic remarks. Thank you very much, Nick. Well, Ken Livingstone is here with me and also here is the Labour MP Wes Streeting, who's been critical of both Mr Livingstone and the Labour Party's handling of this affair. Good evening to you both. Hi. Uh, Ken Livingstone, um, you thought you were going to be expelled. You've had a lucky mm. escape. Well, I think that the Labour Party's barrister and lawyer were most probably saying to them, look, if you expel Ken Livingstone, he goes for judicial review, mm -hmm. you haven't got a cat in hell's chance of winning because you can have all sorts of arguments you like. But I did not say that Hitler was a Zionist. You had Labour MPs like John Mann claiming I'd said Hitler was Zionist. You had West Streeting saying I had a problem with anti-Semitism. And if you went on the Jewish Chronicle website that day, it said, didn't just say I said Hitler was a Zionist. It said I'd said that Jews were like Nazis. This is outrageous. I know fake news has become the big thing. West Streeting, um, what does it feel like to be in the same party as Ken Livingstone tonight? Well, we've said that the Labour Party will take a zero-tolerance approach to anti-Semitism, and today was an opportunity to demonstrate we live up to that promise. And we've blown it because the Labour Party process has conceded that Ken has brought the Labour Party into disrepute. Let's bear in mind that the Labour MP he was defending, the remarks he was defending, were accepted by Naz Shah as anti-Semitic. In fact, she is a model of how to respond when you make remarks that you don't where you don't understand the impact of your words. You make remarks, you apologise for them, you learn from it. She's undertaken 
to become a leading campaigner in the fight against anti-Semitism. But Ken, on the other hand, uninvited, decided to wade into the debate to defend the remarks which she accepted were anti-Semitic and has brought the Labour Party into, into dispute. And not only doing that, has since displayed a bizarre fascination with a tiny part of World War II history. There is, there is a website that counts the number of days since right. Ken last mentioned Hitler. And this matters because it comes up on the doorstep in constituencies like mine. You and it looks like the Labour Party doesn't take... Uh, people like right. Ken who well, make well, the well, well, remarks. Well, let, 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 let's this. Ken Livingston, you are no um, mm. a stranger to controversy, and mm. often in the past it's been like water off a duck's back. Mm. But do you accept now that you know you are tainted, and you will mm. not come back in any meaningful way to the Labour Party in any kind of form of office? Well, look, when I lost to Boris Johnson in 2012, I made clear my concession speech that broadly that was the end of my political career. I campaigned for the Labour Party. But, you know, my wife's become a teacher, I'm the house husband. So this I'm not, is the I'm end not, of your political I'm career? Not, I didn't seek her parliamentary seat at the last election. I didn't ask Ed Miliband or Jeremy Corbyn to put me in the House of Lords. But you have been very supportive of Jeremy yes. Corbyn. And if you believe what West Streeting is saying, you've been very damaging on the doorstep, so essentially you are damaging no. Jeremy Corbyn. I'm not damaging. When I uh, was suspended, I couldn't walk down the street for hundreds of people stopping to say, we know what you said is true. Virtually the first person said, I'm a, Jew a woman, I'm Jewish, don't these MPs read their history? And the problem is this, if you look at the um, chairman of the board of deputies as British Jews, giving evidence to the House of Commons, he says, for Ken Livingstone to say Hitler was a Zionist was deeply offensive. And that's part of the problem. There were these series of lies and smears that I'd said Hitler was a Zionist. Well, if i said Hitler was a Zionist, I wouldn't have just apologised. I'd ask my doctor if it wasn't the first sign of dementia. Here's a man who loathed and feared Jews all his life. But he did a deal with the Zionists, and I didn't even criticise the deal, because 66,000 German Jews were moved to Palestine. If they hadn't, they'd have died in the gas chambers with Six million others. Well, this now, Wes Streeting, would appear to be the end of the matter or not? Well, we're meant to be launching the Labour's campaign for the local elections today. And instead of talking about the big issues in local elections, we're talking about mm -hmm. Ken's bizarre fascination with the 1930s. And it is damaging the Labour Party and its reputation. And Ken has formed going right back to his second term as Mayor of London, where he has made, whether it was the offensive remarks made to a Jewish reporter at the Evening Standard, or suggesting that Jews weren't voting Labour anymore because they've become wealthy, Ken has form when it comes to making ill-considered and incendiary remarks that offend the Jewish community. It, and look, ten years after you, finishing as Mayor you, of London, his name comes up on the doorstep in my look, constituency if, if because you, he brings the Labour Party into disrepute if you and think undermines our claim to be... Like you said in that uh, post on your website, why did you ask me to come and campaign for you never... in the general election? We were walking around your constituency together. You did not come anywhere near my constituency during the general election. Absolutely. I... And you would never it be welcome in my constituency. It was one of the first things you did. You had when, me I, when I stood as you. a council candidate mm. back in 2010, Ken, you came to campaign for me then. But you are not welcome in my constituency. You would well, not why, be welcomed by me? Jewish voters in my why constituency. And I'm not going to get drawn into this vendetta you... you have against me. The point I'm making is that your mm. poor judgment, mm. your crass mm. remarks and your lack of apology no. brings the Labour Party can, into can, disrepute. Can, can, can it's can losing us votes hand you, over fist. You, you no, it's morally wrong. Is the it's fact morally wrong. You should apologise. You continue like you. to go ahead. 30, you've not no, apologised. You're totally question. unrepentant. 39 Labour MPs like you on that day were tweeting that I was anti-Semitic, I should be suspended, I had said it was a Zionist. You created a storm and then can the you to take no, responsibility for your Ken own Livingston, language? Ken Livingston, can I just mm, ask, yeah. do you think, do you accept that you had poor judgment over the way you've dealt with this? No. Poor judgment in the sense that you may talk about the fact that Jewish people come and, and support mm. you, but you have offended a lot of people. Do you accept that and do you apologise? If anyone's upset by what I said, of course I'm sorry, but... I'm not going to apologise for something I didn't say. But, I did not say Hitler was a Zionist. No, but you, you said he supported Zionism in the 1930s. Do you apologise? for saying that. No, no, I mean, I've got a, a, a Jewish newspaper here with an article confirming what I said is true. If you'd like me to read it out, no, no, I will. I, you have offended certain uh, members of the Jewish community. Do you apologise to them for the offence that you have caused? If anyone's upset, I'm sorry, but get them to check what I actually said, because I can't tell you the number of Jewish people who came up to me and said, we know what you said was true. Thank People you. aren't stupid. They heard what you said. They find it offensive and you are damaging no, the Labour Party. Thank, thank you both very much indeed. Thank you very much.